All right, what's going on, guys? So I don't know if you guys saw, but pretty much the entire game of Cold War has been leaked already. I've seen screenshots of, like, every single aspect of the game across Twitter and Reddit. Obviously, I can't put those images in this video, but I would like to talk about it because from what I can see, the amount of content we are going to be getting at launch is actually going to be the least amount of content we have ever gotten in Call of Duty history in, like, the last... I don't know, 15 years? How long has Call of Duty been going on? But basically, the content is at an all-time low. And I think there's a pretty easy explanation for this. You know, you don't gotta be a genius, 200 IQ to figure this one out. But as you guys know, we have a new system for DLC in Call of Duty where instead of us like paying for the map packs like we used to back in the day, they just slowly release content into the game for free over the course of the year and instead they try to make their money off of the battle pass and off of the store and microtransactions and all that sort of stuff right now on the surface this has seemed like a good idea you know oh you know we get free maps and weapons over the course of the year that's pretty cool you know we don't have to pay for all the dlc anymore However, it seems that the trade-off for this new system is that the game itself just comes with less maps and less weapons to begin with. So in reality, we're not really gaining anything. You know, they're trying to like act like, oh, they're doing us a huge favor and giving us all these free maps. But really, they're just taking the maps that should have been in the game originally and just taking them out and then adding them in later for free. So it, it just really doesn't make any sense. Honestly, I would say this is actually a downgrade in the system because on Thursday night when this game drops, it's only going to have eight maps. And I don't care if you add new maps in like July and August, like the game's already dead. By that time, people are already getting ready for the new game. You know what I mean? No one really cares about the old game anymore. So there's no point in adding in new stuff that late into the game. All of the content needs to be added in towards the beginning of the game when people are actually excited to play it. You know what I mean? So let me just go over it real quick so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I have the list of the maps. So, so far, we're going to have the four maps from the beta. Cartel, Miami, Moscow, Satellite. And then, apparently, for some reason, instead of actually making new maps, they just took the Ground War maps and cut off 80% of it or whatever and made it way smaller and just turned it into a 6v6 version of the map. So we have 6v6 Armada and 6v6 Crossroads. I don't know what that's going to look like. Probably not great. Honestly, like, that's just lazy. Like, there's no excuse for that. That is just lazy. And then finally, we actually get two brand new maps, Garrison and Checkmate. And also, side note, Nuketown is confirmed once again. I don't believe it's going to be there on launch night, but I think they're going to add it in, like, pretty soon after that. So we will have Nuketown as well. I've seen some screenshots of it. It looks exactly like the black ops 1 version except it looks kind of like destroyed like a nuke went off or whatever like it's kind of like a rundown version of the bo1 nuke town so i mean cool whatever every black ops game has nuke town we know that so anyways like i said we're gonna have eight maps at launch now just for comparison purposes i went and counted how many maps were at launch for all of the other black ops games just to show like the pathetic amount of effort that was put into this game so just for comparison black ops 1 had 13 maps at launch black ops 2 had 14 maps at launch black ops 3 had 12 maps at launch and black ops 4 had 14 maps, but four of them were remakes, which honestly, I'll take that. Remake four Black Ops maps and throw them in this game. That's cool with me. You know what I mean? I don't have no issue with that. So the point is, as you can see, eight maps is just not an acceptable number. And it is like pretty much half of what we're supposed to be getting with the game. It's not just the maps, you know, that's one aspect of it, but it's the guns as well. So this game's gonna have a total of 29 guns at launch. All of the guns that we saw in the beta, plus they're going to have a grenade launcher, a pistol, the Barrett 50 cal, the M60 LMG, the Burst AUG, I'm thinking similar to what we saw in Black Ops 4, DMR Semi-Auto, the Bison SMG, and what looks to be like a FAMAS AR, you know, maybe not, but it kind of does look like that, some sort of AR. So we're going to have about eight new guns that weren't in the beta with like three of them 
not even really being like relevant, you know what I mean? Like no one cares about a launcher or a pistol or whatever, you know what I mean? So about like five new guns with the game with a total of 29 guns at launch. Now, once again, for reference, let's go through all the other Black Ops games. Black Ops 1 had 42 weapons at launch. Black Ops 2 had 39 weapons at launch. Black Ops 3 had 31 weapons at launch. And Black Ops 4 had 27 weapons at launch. So, just like with the maps, you can see over the years, the number just keeps getting smaller. I don't know why the Black Ops 4 gun count was so low, but... At least it had more maps, you know? Now we don't have any guns and we don't have any maps, you know? It just keeps getting worse over the years. So I know they implemented this new system maybe with the intention of thinking that it was going to help, but it really seems like it's not. And I don't think they're stupid, you know what I mean? I think they know what they're doing. I think they think we're stupid and we don't see what's going on. So that's why I'd like to point this out, you know? It's something that we need to talk about because there probably are a lot of people out there who haven't really put two and two together and, and figured out what exactly is going on. So so that's why it's important that we talk about it but I just don't see this system as being an upgrade even though technically you know we're getting free maps and now arguably probably the worst news of all as you guys may or may not know we have seen a few days ago that all of the kill streaks were leaked I talked about it on Twitter I even made a video on my second channel kind of going through them seeing what my thoughts were but in this leak we've probably had some of the best news that we could have had about the game and that was that they were bringing back the Blackbird or the VSAT and it was going to be called the Harp now, I don't know what happened, but it seems with the most recent leak that we have, they actually removed this kill streak from the game, and I'm assuming it's no longer going to be there at launch right now the speculation is that it will be added in later just like how they're doing with the maps and the guns but this one actually like pissed me off a little bit because the kill streak has already been made all right we literally saw it in the game we see what it looks like it's there ready to go but then they purposely removed it from the game so that they can try to add it in later like they're doing us a huge favor or something you know what i mean or even worse like that's best case scenario worst case scenario we just don't get to see it at all i was honestly surprised that they did that because i know for a fact bondahar says he does not like that kill streak so i was actually surprised they decided to put it in the game to begin with so i really don't like the way they went about that at all you know it's one thing to develop content as the year goes on and add it into the game okay whatever but to have content ready to go in the game at launch and then purposely remove it so that you could add it in later i just can't fuck with that man especially content that we have historically received as part of the game in the past that should be part of the game and now you're taking it out i don't i don't know it just doesn't make any sense man it, i just I, I don't like what i'm hearing so far about that aspect of it but you know we'll see the game comes out in two days nothing we can do now but wait you know i will still of course do my annual call of duty review as always i actually did like the game like from a gameplay aspect like i had a lot of fun on the beta i was enjoying the game my number one concern was the maps if you guys watched my review of the game i was worried about how the maps were gonna be and now like i'm even more concerned about the maps because apparently we've already played all the maps except two of them so i, I don't know man that that's just not what i wanted to hear going into the game but you know we'll see you know the game comes out really soon i'm still gonna play it and, I, and i'm gonna have my review up for you guys so Anyways, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to address all of this information that has been getting leaked. I was gonna just wait for the game to come out, but like there was so much info out there. I was like, you know what? I actually do want to kind of talk about this a little bit. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Check out my last video if you missed it. We had to check out that new PlayStation 5 merch drop where they were selling uh, $250 PlayStation backpacks. I don't know who's buying that, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day and peace out.